Hello, so tribe and family. It's your girl, 144 Priestess Messages. I am here for another reading for you today. This is a collective reading. Keep in mind, it's not a personal reading, so just take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't for the next person. I'm sending you all so much love and gratitude as always. If you resonate with my readings or my energy, please feel free to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. We have so many courses coming up in the month of September, so please feel free to check out letsgohome.energy in the box below to see what courses are being offered. We have the free Sacred Motherhood and Self-Worth Workshop that's coming up. There's only 30 seats available, and we're in three days, um, about halfway or more when it comes to the seats that have been taken up. So please feel free to go check out the website to join any classes or book your one-on-one -on -one sessions, Akashic Records, and more. Oh, we have Sacred Tarot Course 2 that is coming back in two weeks. We're going to be starting our Sacred Tarot Course. We are round four of the Sacred Tarot Course. So if you're looking to take the fool's journey into higher consciousness, if you're looking to expand your awareness, to expand your gifts, or just to learn tarot, feel free to message me or head to the website to join the course. In the Sacred Tarot course, we do also have a 24-7 group chat, and it's all recorded, so even if you can't make the class time, you'll be getting the class through the recording every week. We will take that. All right. Very set an attention. Divine creativity, receiving cosmic intelligence. That's it for that one. The bottom of the, this deck is ground, shield, and protect. For some of you, you may have gotten, especially with these energies and with the activations, uh, you may have gotten a call or like gotten insight of different methods of protection. We do have Lumera creating heaven on earth. So that's just coming to mind for some people. Look, look at that boundaries, okay? So for some of you, there's some sort of boundaries that you're setting. Could be energetically, two, 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 or setting boundaries in your life with people, which is energetically. Um, but what I was getting, receiving cosmic intelligence, like right away, it was like protection. Some of you are being called to protect yourself um, in whatever way that resonates with you. Especially with these energies, if you are rising and you reflect a lot of your light, your light, it's like a moth to a flame, moth to a flame, you know, so, and that's exactly what this looks like. When you have that light, it's like a moth to a flame. Um, so if you've been getting the call to just like protect yourself more, energetically clear, setting those boundaries, whatever it is, this is a confirmation. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Could be with people or just energetically. What's on the bottom of the deck? What is not aligned or needs to change. So I feel like for some of you, it might be boundaries. We're also going to grab one of these cards. And then I'm going to grab the tarot. Mary Magdalene. And then Leah, 333, stand your ground. All right, so for some of you, or for all of you, whatever resonates, um, this is a very clear message of standing your ground and setting firm, loving boundaries. Again, this could be energetically or with people in your life, setting firm boundaries. Not walls up, heart wide open, boundaries high. And boundaries are not walls. I have Mary Magdalene, sacred marriage. The Ankh can also mean something to you. It's also the heart space, and I'm getting that more of the, um, again, those loving boundaries. And there might be like an opening of the heart space, especially for those of you who, you know, your heart is wide open. You need boundaries. If your heart is wide open, you need boundaries. It's that balance. It does say sacred marriage as well. So it could be union within or without, but we shall see. And you can resonate with Mary Magdalene. 33 seconds as I say that. So a lot of 333. Three, three. Might be seeing 1010 10 as well. I am going to grab a message here. We have the lovers. Holy Spirit of God, what do we have as a main message for the collective today? What's the main message for the collective today? King of Wands, Queen of Swords. 
And then what is this King of Wands about? Ooh, King of Coins, two kings. Interesting. What is this King of Wands and King of Coins, the Fool? One woman, two kings. She was a mermaid, so it's also that siren energy. Okay. Speaking of the tarot course, the fool's journey. But she's the fool also represents purity, innocence. Whether you're male or female, you might be getting a lot of suitors coming in. Uh, in general, um, not everyone is coming that comes in as a romantic interest. Um, like keep in mind, they may think that they're a romantic interest, but there's some people who come in that they're there for your healing Five five as I say that so be aware and again, it's the moth to a flame Look at your light or your sexiness your sensuality your like whatever it is You're attracting a lot of people a lot of energy Have discernment though when it comes to the people that are coming in or having boundaries you know, it doesn't mean that not everyone can even be there, but it's having boundaries, healthy boundaries. She's over Mary Magdalene too, and Mary Magdalene is the sacred feminine. So that's what I'm seeing there. We're going to grab clarifications. What's this King of Wands? Three of Cups. Can I have two more cards for the Three of Wands and the King of Cups? Oh, someone might be coming in. Oh, Jesus. Los Angeles, California can mean something to you because I just got a call from California. Temperance, Six of Cups. So this could be a fire sign um, because there's a lot of fire here. Temperance is Sagittarius as well. I feel like there's someone who wants to come in for some sort of celebration. Three of Cups. Six of Cups is reunions. So the King of Wands could be someone from the past. And I feel like they're coming back in. Yeah, Knight of Cups over here. Why is that Three of Cups with the King of Wands? Seven of Cups. I don't know why here I'm coming out. We do have Justice too. I do, and Temperance is Balance. I feel like if you've been in a, maybe separation from a King of Wands, or this could just be someone new coming into your life 33 seconds, um, it's like they want to celebrate with you. They want to enjoy the fruits of labors. Why is the Seven of Cups here with the Three of Cups? The Hangman, Ace of Swords. Um, someone could have had an awakening about you or a shift in perspective. I feel like to look at all sides of this situation too. Queen of Cups here. So that's also like the Pisces energy. Why is the hangman here? Six of wands, nine of coins, okay? So someone is coming in over here. I do see a king of wands coming in. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. Could just be embodying this energy. The peacock can also mean something to you, but there's someone coming in with celebration, like period, celebration. Like, let's have fun, let's celebrate. It feels very happy with the temperance card too, which is a lot of balance and peace. Someone wants to come in and just bring in the peace, 33 seconds. They just wanna be peaceful. They just wanna be happy, have fun. Six of Wands, the Hangman. I feel like they also see you doing that, and that's how they're viewing you, and that's also why they're coming in. So that's also the energy of discernment and boundaries of like understanding who's coming in. Again, the moth to a flame. Uh, a lot of people see you shining right now, and that's why a lot of people might be coming in. So just be aware of like who's coming in for what, because even if they think they're coming in for different reasons, you know, all that stuff. Um, but I feel like they see you shining, and they're coming in. They're like, oh my goodness, let's celebrate something or you might meet them at a party there, there might be some sort of party also going on here either they want to celebrate with you or a party six of coins so this person it feels good the way that they're coming in let's see the king of coins oh jesus four of wands what's this four of wands with the king of coins seven of coins seven of coins fell in reverse though Why are the four of wands and seven of coins in reverse? Six of coins. Why are the six of coins with the seven of coins in reverse? Queen of coins. We have five of swords though on the bottom of the deck. And that seven of coins is in reverse. Why is the seven of coins in reverse? Nine of wands. Nine of wands. 
With the five of swords that was also in reverse, this could be someone in your life that maybe is a little bit stubborn. King of coins and queen of coins. So it's, it's male, female energy. Earth, earth, it could be earth. And what I want to see what the six of coins is. They see you as the queen of coins. It's like this person... But with the seven of coins in reverse, I, there's something going on with their foundation. 33 seconds as I say that. Nine of wands, seven of coins. Why the nine of wands and seven of coins? Seven of wands. All right, and they go seven, seven. So for some people, when it comes to this king of coins that might be in your life or coming into your life, they want to give you something, but the question is, can they actually, can they do that? I feel like they want something from you. They see you as the queen of coins, but can they give to you what you can give? Seven of coins in reverse and seven of wands. 11, 11. Like where, what's the foundation that this person's giving from? Or what's their intention? Seven of coins, I'm seeing it as a foundation. Could be physically, like if this has to do with money and things like that. But also like their foundation within. They want to come towards you. But can they, what they claiming that they want to give you, can they actually give that? Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Why are the Seven of Wands and Nine of Wands? Ace of Swords, Truth, Ten of Cups. So I do feel like there's someone coming. Both of these people are coming in. And so you actually have more than one option. 1144. One of them really wants to celebrate. I think someone else wants, wants to come in and celebrate too. But it feels like one option is a little bit more like let's celebrate. Because we have the Seven of Cups, so a lot of options, right? But with this king of wands feels like they could back that up though and you could hear like the um the police but with this king of coins seven of coins in reverse with the seven of wands both sevens can they actually give to you what you can give ace of swords the truth i feel like they want to come in with the truth why the ace of swords with the king of coins Page of Wands, why the Ace of Swords with the King of Coins, Nine of Coins? Nine of Swords. This person, again, this person might approach you, this King of Coins. Just be aware that this person might really be in their head. They could be going through money issues as well, this King of Coins. They may show up as like they want to celebrate. They want to be in some sort of union with you. But can they actually give to you is the question. Why the Queen of Coins here? King of Cups. Why the Queen of Coins here? The Star. This man, this King of Coins, again, male or female. This is someone who's watching you. So they're watching this queen of coins. Again, it's moth to a flame. It's like both of these energies, they both see you as light, as like a star, as like whatever it is. But this person feels less stable. This person feels like they're going to come up to you, but like deep down inside, they're still kind of struggling with something. This person feels like they just want to celebrate. They're at peace, temperance card. This person's still struggling with something. They see you. This is how like he's seeing you. Could be water and earth. One more card for this King of Cups and the Star. About the Queen of Coins. Queen of Cups. Okay, so this person again, and it's it's so interesting because we have King of Coins, Queen of Coins, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So this could be some sort of mirroring over here too. But they're watching you. They want to come forward to you. It doesn't feel bad. It just feels like this person's like still struggling a little bit with something. Can you give me more information for the Queen of Cups? The Five of Swords. I feel like they don't want to let you go. 
with the Five of Swords energy. They don't want to let you go. But they can't give you exactly what you want or need. That's the energy here. Seven of Coins are reversed with the Seven of Wands. Like they really actually can't give you what you need, but they also won't let you go. So just be aware of that too, of someone that might not let you go, but they can't give you what you need. How does the Fool relate to these kings? Justice, Ace of Wands, Libra energy. Libra season is coming up. Venus is going into Libra too. Why justice with the Fool? The Emperor, the Hermit. Okay, so there's one woman. One woman. Because that's how I'm reading it. But more than one man. The Emperor, the Hermit. Somebody wants a new start. It could be actually more than one person. 1616, 16, which is 7-7. Seven, seven. More than one person is coming in. Some people might be new. Some people might be coming in from the past. Again, that's Shadow, Mercury, Mercury Retrograde is coming up. And it's these emperors, the masculine energy. Why the hermit with the emperor? Four coins. For some of them, it's like holding on to it. The world over here. Feels like one doesn't know how to approach you. One's a little bit more quiet. And there's one who's showing up. Okay, so if you have more than one option, I feel like they both, again, it's moth to a flame. Like they both want you, maybe don't even necessarily know why, 707, why they want you. They want to hold on to you. But there's one that will really show up as the emperor. So there's some sort of justice. Can I have one more card for the justice card? Two of wands. Look at that. Two men. Two men. You have like two or more options coming in. Nine of swords. Might be in their head about coming in. And there's two different options. They're holding two different wands. Two wands. Two men. It's interesting. All right. What's the advice for this reading? Eight of wands. What's the advice for this reading? The Magician. Six of Swords. So this is coming in. I do feel like more than one person is manifesting you. Your manifestations could be coming in. I also feel like more than one person is manifesting you. Again, Moth to a Flame. So just call back your energy. I get a message as soon as I say that too. Call back your energy for sure. Especially from like places that have been taking your energy. Boundaries. Boundaries. We, we, we got that over here. So sacred marriage that's coming in. Um, that boundaries card came out. Set your energetic boundaries. I feel like in general with your energy, if you're watching this, people are siphoning your energy without you even knowing. It could be on the internet. It could be people in your real life, 33 seconds, like, like a physical, tangible reality. But know this is coming in. One more card for the Eight of Wands and the Magician, King of Swords, the Lovers. All right. You have, you are the moth to the flame. There's a lot of energy right now. Um, and a lot of people are finding you desirable. And that's why you have to have your boundaries. Because not everyone is going to be for you. Not everybody even knows why they want you. It's like the energy of like people like don't even know why they want you. It's like, oh my goodness, like I need her or I need him or like um, you're so, I, I want you, all those different things, but they don't even actually, like you might know. I feel like maybe if you're like, especially wherever you are on your journey, if you're a high priestess, maybe high priest, goddess, whatever it is, use your intuition with the people who approach you. Because they won't even know why they're approaching you. And so you need to see. You need to, yeah, you need to see. <laughs> Third eye. However, this King of Wands, it looks very light and interesting and a lot of celebration. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Yeah, I feel like you're getting more than one option and don't rush it. Do not rush it. 
especially say if one person comes in don't like sometimes i feel like it's like one man can come in or one woman and like they're and you can get into the energy of like oh my god this is my person wait there might be more than one person coming in and there might be better options so just know you have options and just know there's different things that come with the different options okay can i have two cards of advice goddess of the moon first chakra which is the root chakra uh, a lot of sexual desire a lot of again moth to a flame a lot of people especially when it comes to this feminine energy and it's number seven so you could definitely be seeing seven 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 you're in that goddess energy and so understand like when you're stepping into your goddess energy or embodying your goddess energy there's a lot of people who will be sexually attracted to you uh physically attracted to you spiritually emotionally attracted to you but you're in that goddess god whatever energy and that's why you know, so there's some sort of discernment about the people coming into your life. Are you understanding who you are? Okay. We're going to grab this deck. Again, if anyone would like a one-on-one -on -one session, I have a few different courses coming up. We have that Sacred Tarot course, again, round four, and many other things, that free motherhood workshop. It's almost sold out, and there's 30 seats, and it's only been three days, so I'm very excited for that. We are going to have the Conscious Mother from Instagram joining us, too, so feel free to go check out the website below. The goddess opens like a lotus, like a flower. She just opens the flower and the bee comes in and so she just the feminine just receives feminine energy you're just receiving be discerning of like what you're receiving because there are a lot of bees that are attracted to your flower flowering spirit revelation maturity 52 again okay seven 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 know who you are know who you are there's some sort of definitely revelation over here remember who you are 25 or 52 can mean something to you. 2222 two, 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 as I say that. So a lot of twos. You could be 52, you could be 25 years old. Whatever resonates with you, it's also 7-7. Seven, seven, okay? You are in your power. You are sitting in your light, in your divine goddess, God, whatever it is, energy. So understand that there will be a lot of opportunities and people that are attracting themselves towards you. You are the, you know, you are the flame and it's all a moth to a flame. So, you know. Um, have discernment and set those boundaries because all of this, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people see you and a lot of people might be coming in no matter what it's for. So that's what I have for you. I hope it resonates. I'm sending you all so much love, so much abundance and so many blessings.